Hello everyone, this is RJ with our prayer through Proverbs. I want to welcome everyone who joined us here and also joining this journey of walking toward wisdom. Wisdom means that we come toward God and we seek for the wisdom and we bow in front of the fear of the Lord. And as we do that, this is where we are able to follow God's will. And I wanted to share how this has been uh, another uh, reminder for me of coming back to the word. And I hope that it is working in your life in the same way. Uh, as you notice, uh, we are in, we're walking toward the end of uh, Proverbs and we will finish Proverbs 31st. Actually, we're going to combine 30 and 31 this Friday and we will wrap up Proverbs this week. And we will have a two-day break next Monday and Wednesday, uh, Monday and Tuesday so you can enjoy your Memorial uh, Weekend. But on Wednesday, we're going to come back onto our Bishop's Bible Reading Challenge, which is a 21-day topical Bible. And starting this Wednesday is on the topic of patience, which I think it is appropriate at this time, so we will do that. Now from Proverbs chapter 28, I wanted to share two verses. And this is more like an intercessory prayer. From verse for it says, those who abandon instruction praises the wicked, but those who follow instruction battle them. Now, the reason why this kept on stumbling on my heart is because we will see a lot of a lot more guidelines and instructions coming from the government and for us as a church coming from our annual conference as we slowly phase into opening the society. Now, I do have to share that these instructions and guidelines are very important, but there might be a strife, and that's where my worry is, and that's where I want us to pray, is that there might be a strife between the ones who are trying to follow these instructions and guidelines fervently, and the ones who easily disregard these instructions. And I don't want that to happen, but at the same time, I'm also seeing it as we reopen our our, um, our uh, society, we see the ones who are following and the ones who are not, and we see that tension that is in between. So that verse kept on stumbling on my heart, which I believe it is God's way of saying we need to pray for that not to happen. We need to pray more firmly for the unity of this nation. But in the same way, what happens is it continues to bring us back onto the original theme of Proverbs. That in order for us to live in this way of God's wisdom, we need to bow down. We need to offer ourselves. We need to surrender in front of God's will. And it comes back onto asking ourselves, are we, do we have a heart that is teachable? Do we have a heart that we are willing to learn from God's ways? So I wanted to share verse 14, which comes brings us back to that. Happy are those who are continually fearful, but those whose heart are hard fall into trouble. Now, I am not thinking that this word fearful has anything to do with us being feared of what's happening in the world. Anything to do with being fearful of COVID. So as a matter of fact, if you go back onto other translations, the word fearful is actually translated in reverence. The word reverence is more close to the actual translation, meaning that are we reverent to God's will? Are we reverent to God's wisdom? Are we willing to follow God's ways? And I hope that that is a constant challenge in our hearts asking are we really willing to follow God's way no matter what and that might be another reason for us to pray so let us focus our hearts into prayer let us pray together Lord we are thankful that you brought us here together again to pray and to read from your wisdom may your wisdom and your word live in us let it pierce our hearts to see where you are asking us to be. Let it be that sword that bows us down unto your ways. 
And as we pray, Lord, we pray that we will continue to be fearful of your word, fearful of your wisdom, fearful of your ways. And as we continue to live in that way, Lord, may our lives reflect your will being done. And for all the instructions that and guidelines that we will have to follow, Lord, give us the humility and humbleness to follow your ways and your ways alone. And sometimes when it's not even wise instructions, there are some of us that we need to adhere to being open to follow the ways that is presented into us. So give us that humility, give us our give us our hearts, give our hearts the able ability to surrender into your will. So let us have a time to pray and pray continue for continue to pray for the unity of this nation. Let us pray together. And as we continue to pray, let us pray for all that is uh, happening. Pray for the people who are struggling because of this virus, the ones who are battling against it, the ones who are waiting, the ones who are uh, grieving because of this virus. Let us pray for those who are going through economical strife. Let us pray that God's will be done. Let us pray together. And lastly, as we pray, let us pray for the wisdom for our leaders and our healthcare workers, essential workers. But today, especially, let us pray for the unity of this nation. Let us pray together. Hananim Jesus. And as we continue our prayer, let us pray the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Join me in this time of prayer. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all of those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fear and provide us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith hope and trust in you 
in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue to pray the prayer that our Lord had taught us, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more for joining us, and I pray that you will be safe and healthy to continue to follow God's way and share that hope into this world. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.